Hi, welcome to Xerofox 3D. My name's Chris. This video is going to be a teardown of my new case for various mesh tastic devices called Flexo. Right, a, a quick history lesson before we begin. Uh, this is Bender. This is where it all started for me. My original case for the Heltec V3 featured a very simple design with a front cover, a body, a back cover, all snapped together with no screws, so it's nice and seamless. It was very well received, and there's over 3,000 of these worldwide, would you believe? Now, Flexo is Bender's big brother. It essentially evolves the concept and the idea, but it supports lots of different boards. So in here, you have a Heltec T114. It supports the Heltec V3, but then you also have the Rack Whiz Block boards, the Raspberry Pi Pico with Laura hat, and I'll be expanding even more boards going forwards as well. So the design of Flexo is similar to Bender uh, in that it is still seamless and it still snaps together, but at the same time, it's very different. There is no back cover. There is only a body and a front cover. The internal layout is very different as well. So if we quickly take apart Bender, the battery is accessed through the back cover where you'll find the battery holder. And if we pop off the front cover, you'll find the board is actually mounted to the inside of the main body. With Flexo, everything is accessed through the front cover. Now, it's just a matter of a gentle squeeze of this side panel to release this side clip, and a slight pull to release the front. That reveals the internals with the board mounted to the front cover. In this case, this is a Heltec T114. And you can see the GPS module is also mounted to the front cover, along with the switch module. And if we look inside, in this one, we can see the flat LiPo cell, along with the antenna cable going inside, feeding the antenna. Looking inside the body, you'll see this bar uh, which is basically a support bar. It uh, adds stiffness to the top and bottom of the case, uh, which ensures that the clips for the front are nice and firm. Now, of course, the battery doesn't insert through the rear anymore because we have no rear cover. It inserts through the front. If we look at the 18650 option, it includes these little brackets that slot onto the holder at either, either end. This then slots into the body, like so. And the flat LiPo cell also includes, similarly, two brackets that go on either end of the LiPo before it slides into the body as well. The switch module is a custom PCB that features the switch along with two JST connectors, one of which you plug your battery into, and the other one, a custom cable is provided that feeds the board. So with the Heltex, that has the correct connection on the end. And if we look at the rack, it has a cable that takes a standard polarity battery and reverses it to be the correct polarity for the rack. The switch module itself is secured to the front case with two 10 millimeter hex bolts. And I also provide an Allen key in the kit so you can, uh, you can fit these. If we flip it over, there is a retaining support that goes over the PCB module and the PCB just pops out. You can see the switch, which is a really high quality CNK switch, which is used in medical equipment and all kinds of things. And then the button itself pops out and this time it can only insert one way, which always used to confuse people with Bender. The final piece of Flexo is what I call the smart mount, which acts as a wall mount and can also be used as a GoPro mount if you want to mount it to any GoPro mount, such as a suction cup in your car, etc. Now, you can stick this to a wall with command strips, or you'll see it has countersunk screws as well. Flexo just slides in with little custom dovetails, like so. And if you want to use the GoPro mount, there are these little GoPro prongs, which basically just slot in through these grooves. 
and give you a GoPro mount. So that's Flexo. You can buy a case kit from my website at zerofox3d.com. With the case kit, all you have to add is an antenna, a battery, and your board. Everything else is included for you to be able to get started. You'll be able to download the print files for free if you want to print your own. And I sell hardware kits that include the PCB, the cable, the hex screws, basically all the pieces that you need to be able to construct it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to drop a like on the video. Always helps things in the algorithm. Cheers.